Tuesday in Holy Week, John 12, 20 through 50. John is a little bit different in his gospel. You probably know that. We call the first three gospels the synoptic gospels. And for the most part, I think you can say that they're kind of chronological. John kind of jumps all over the place. He's kind of strange in, in, in in that way. And he focuses on some things where the other gospel writers don't. Well, John's interesting here. When when you read his his account, it's John chapter 12, right? Halfway through John chapter 12, we get the triumphal entry. And then we have, what, 30 verses it is until 13, right? And it's in those 30 verses that we have, if you're talking chronologically, we have Monday of Holy Week, Tuesday, and Wednesday in those 30 verses. Because chapter 13, boom, we've got Monday, Thursday. Jesus washing the disciples' feet. So in this section here, there's a, there's a lot that we can cover, these, these 30 verses. Jesus is kind of lamenting the fact that Jerusalem has gone away, and he's saying that he doesn't speak of his own authority, but by the authority of the Father. But what I want to focus on is the section that happens right after, and I don't know if it's chronological or not, like I said, but it probably happened, well, it definitely happened at some point between uh, Monday and Wednesday. We have... Uh, these Greeks who come up to Jesus' disciples. And they have a simple question. Not question, they have a simple request. Sir, we wish to see Jesus. And the disciples, they run and tell Jesus this. And Jesus, it's interesting. We don't know if Jesus goes and presents himself before these people. Maybe he does. It would be neat if he does. Uh, But John doesn't tell us that. Instead, John has Jesus Uh, saying that his hour has come. The hour of his glory has come. And then he just goes on and he talks. And a little bit later on, uh, he talks about how the Son of Man must be lifted up. But my point in all of this is the Greeks say, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. And whether or not Jesus actually went up and spoke to those people in time and place, which he very well could have, what John wants us to know is that what Jesus wants us to know is that if we want to see him, we must look to the cross. Because that's Jesus' answer to the disciples. When somebody says, we wish to see Jesus, Jesus says, it's time. It's Holy Week. It's time for me to be glorified. I'm going to the cross. If you want to see me, see me at the cross, because that's where I am, most importantly, for you. I think that's what John wants us to understand here. Now, I might get on a little bit of a hobby horse about this as well, but that's what you need to hear, and that's what you need to see, especially on Sunday mornings, especially during Holy Week, my goodness. But let's think about Sunday mornings when you go into church. You should say to your pastor, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. I wish to see Jesus. And then sit back and see what he does. I pray that he points you to the cross. And I pray that he climbs up in that pulpit. Some pastors even have that little phrase tacked right there on the pulpit I do. It reminds me that the people came to hear of Jesus. And not just Jesus, but Christ crucified for them. Because that's what our Lord would have us hear about himself. So that's what we should wish to hear about him too. Thanks be to God.